Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennis and Reflective Tips and Tricks, Traffic Jet 101. Today we're going to walk through media loading. To load a roll in the traffic jet, it's really simple. So you'll see the back side here, we've got two chucks that will move independently of one another. So you can load any size roll down to 12 inch, up to 64 if you're going to run some graphics products. So what you'll simply do is affix one side. Set your roll in place. Lift your media lever, and you'll notice as I lift that, it lifts up all the pinch rollers inside, so that it now allows you to feed in your material. And the nice thing with the 1638X is it has two media levers, one on the back here and one on the front. So to make sure nothing falls out, we'll lower the media lever and then come around to the front side just to align everything. Now that I've got the chill fed through, I'm simply going to lift the media lever so that I can pull this and make sure that there's some tension and everything's aligned correctly. So simply close it back down. You'll see you've got two edge guides here. We're going to make sure those are in place. So simply give it a slight lift and push it so it's right up against the edge of the material and you'll see it actually overlaps the edges just a little bit and that just prevents the edges from, edges from fluttering at all and during the run it helps to prevent head strikes so now that I have this I'm going to close my cover and the first thing it's going to ask me what's the user type so what type of sheeting am I putting in there so in this case we've got 6500 I'm going to click OK, and it's going to go ahead and sense the width of the material automatically. So you'll see it's gone ahead and measured the material edge to edge, and it's coming back saying it's 1,233 millimeters wide. So you can either start printing right now, and the only piece is you want to make sure that you're very careful as the material feeds over top of the dryer, just due to the lobe shape of each of the dryers, the material can catch slightly. So you'll want to babysit it during the initial printing period, just to make sure it doesn't get caught. Well, once it's hanging over the edge, it's fine. Or some people like to, to start the take up unit immediately. So you can see we've got a cardboard core below. I'm going to feed out enough material. And I'm going to use one single piece of tape. So you'll see, I'll pull it tight, stick a piece of tape in the middle, and then turn on my take up unit. The little switch right there. And so you'll see now as I start to feed out material, you have a tension bar here. So you want to go ahead and lower the tension bar. This helps to keep the material tracking straight. And you'll see as the bar hits its lowest point, it triggers the rewind. 